Hi, I'm Farmer Brett. I'm Farmer Karen. I'm Farmer Emily. We are here at Just Food. Welcome to the Online Ottawa Farm School series. In your box, you will have received one bag of soil, three pots, and your seeds. What you need from home is some water, permanent markers, clothes pegs, or popsicle sticks, some trays that will hold water, and a measuring tape or ruler. Now let's get started. To sort your seeds, you're going to need dry hands. Take your packet and pour them out onto a clean surface. You're gonna see lots of different seeds of different sizes. Wow. Let's get sorting. Take a look at your farm school packet. On the first photo, you'll see beans. Pretty easy to find because they are one of the biggest seeds. Wow. There should be three different colors, purple, golden, and green bean that may look white. Next, let's look for cucumbers or zucchini seeds. They will be the second biggest seeds in the packet. And they look like this. One, two, three, four, five. So they're pretty small. Let's see here. There should be about 20 of the radish seeds. Wow. After the radish seeds are separated, we're left with these tiny little guys, which are our lettuce seeds. Let's get started filling up our first pot. You'll just take your soil, drop it right in. Keep going, more soil. Put in enough until it's almost to the top. That looks good. Smooth it out until it looks about like this. Next, you're gonna fill some water. You'll see at the bottom of your pots, there are holes. When you water your plants, it'll drain out if there's extra. It's a good idea to put a tray beneath your pot. So in case you do use too much water, it doesn't go all over the place. Here's a cool way to check if there's enough water in your soil. Take some of it in your hands, squeeze it out. You should have a couple small drops coming out. Here's what it looks like if there's too much water. Soil, glorious soil. Did you know, soil is alive. In just one small handful of soil, there are billions of tiny creatures working to help your plants grow. Now let's plant pot number one. We're going to be planting our bean seeds. Make a triangle with your fingers. At each point of the triangle, poke a hole about this deep. In each hole, place one of your bean seeds. Once your seeds are in your holes, you can cover them with the soil around them. All done! It's a good idea to label your pots so you know what's growing in them. Here, I'll make a label for beans. And water. Now it's time to plant our second pot cucumber or zucchini. We're only going to need to plant two of these seeds. So we'll take the other three and put them back in the bag. Bye. We put them back so that we can plant them later in case these two don't grow. This time we're going to put them in the center about a fingernail deep. Place the seeds in the hole, cover them up, and water. Make sure to label them. Next, we're gonna be planting pot number three, lettuce and radish. Start by placing your ruler or measuring tape and place it across your pot like this. Every four centimeters, poke a hole. Now take your ruler and do the same. Now you can fill in your grid. You'll have 16 holes. We're gonna do half lettuce, half radish, but you can do whatever you want. We'll start by putting one seed in every hole, then move on to the next hole. Radish seeds are a little bit easier because they're bigger. 
With our remaining seeds, we'll put them back in our packet. Bye bye. Close up all your holes. Water your seeds regularly and keep them in a nice and sunny spot. Cool. One eternity later.